Hello and welcome to the special lecture series on the principles of microeconomics. So yesterday I gave you a sense of some of the MCQs which might reflect in your university exams and that was based on chapter 1 which is which was very introductory which dealt with all the three levels. Now in today's class as well I will give you the similar sort of MCQs which will be obviously from the first introductory chapter. So let's get started. So the first MCQ we are looking at here is what do you mean by terms of trade? Again, I'm repeating it. It can be framed in n number of ways, the question meaning thereby. So what do you mean by the terms of trade or what do you understand by terms of trade or what is terms of trade? Give the formula for terms of trade. So the uh, options underlying options given to us is the first option is index of export price divided by index of import price into 100. The next option is index of import price divided by index of export price into 100. The third option is index of finance and the last option is none of the above. So here if you know what the concept of terms of trade means, the, the answer is option one which is index of export price divided by the index of import price into 100. Yeah? So this is the first MCQ. The second MCQ is what are the different types of terms of trade? This is again a question which may be asked in the easy level of the MCQs. What are the different types of terms of trade? So they have given options gross barter terms of trade, net barter terms of trade, income terms of trade and single factorial or double uh, double factorial or single and double factorial terms of trade. So what we have to do is we have to select the correct option, select the appropriate option from the uh, options given below. The first option is A and B that means gross barter and net barter. The second option is B and C which is net barter and income terms of trade. The third option is A and D which is gross barter and single and double factorial terms of trade and the last option is all of the above. So if you know the concept of what terms of trade means and what are the different types of it, the answer is all of the above that is gross barter, net barter, income terms of trade as well as single and double factorial terms of trade. So I hope the second question is pretty much clear. Now let us look at what the third question is talking about. It is talking about international trade promotes the welfare of dash. Yeah. So you have to fill in the blank sort of a question. So international trade promotes the welfare of what? Options are A, all participating countries, B, all exporting countries, C, all importing countries and the option is none of the above. So obviously, if at all there is any international trade, it will benefit all the parties taking part into the trade and hence the uh, correct option is all participating countries. International trade will promote the welfare of all the participating countries. Yeah. So now let us look at this is again an easy level of question. Ne next is what are gross barter terms of trade means what what are gro gross barter terms of trade? What do you understand by that? What is the formula for that? The questions can be of this sort and the options which will be given are in this manner. First is it is the ratio of physical quantities of imports to the physical quantities of export that is total physical quantities of imports to exports. The next option is it is an index of finance. The third option is total physical quantity of exports to total physical quantity. It is a ratio of now what we are doing is we are changing the ratio earlier in the first uh, uh, the first option. It was the ratio of phys uh, total physical quantities of imports to physical quantities of exports. In the next option, what I'm doing is I'm changing it. Yeah, I'm changing it. I'm doing it exports to imports. So this is how the university can bluff you. So please pay attention to these important words like imports and exports yeah so now and the th last option is none of the above so obviously if you know what gross barter terms of trade is and means the formula for it is total physical quantities of imports to total physical quantities of exports it is a ratio of that yeah so i hope the fourth mcq is pretty much clear now let us move to a question which is uh, it, it which gives you a sense of what the intermediate uh, levels will look like. So now let us look at the question gross barter terms of trade takes into account or takes into its ambit what a the options are a only trade items b only services c only finances and the d's trade items and unilateral payments. Now here the keyword is trade items and unilateral payments. The university might bluff you with the help of multilateral payments. So please be careful. So the answer for gross barter terms of trade takes into account trade items and unilateral payments. Yeah, that is the answer. Now 
let us move to the sixth question which is talking about what is true now i told you yesterday that they can ask you what is true about it what is false about it what is correct about it what is incorrect about it these sorts of questions so the next question is what is true about income terms of trade they might also use this capital t small o capital d again which means terms of trade yeah terms of trade just to reduce the space in the question booklet so what is true about income terms of trade let us look at the options which we have it increases the capacity to import it decreases the capacity to import there is no change in any capacity and none of the above so obviously this uh, the, the the concept of income terms of trade will increase the capacity to import it will increase the capacity to import so that is the correct option or correct answer now let us look at another question which is what is an offer curve what is an offer curve or what do you understand by an offer curve and things like that so let us look at the options which are available to us the options are a it shows quantity of a product a country can export for each quantity of a product it imports yeah the next option is shows demand curves of a firm very vague option yeah c option is shows finances of a firm again terms of trade finances and uh, demand curves of a firm doesn't relate too much to offer curve yeah or doesn't relate to trade per se then last option is none of the above so obviously here whenever there are options which are lengthy yeah you have to it, it is a wild guess but you have to make sure that you read that option twice and there is a probability that the uh, that option is at times correct yeah at times correct yeah so here our option what is an offer curve an option for uh, or the answer for the question what is an offer curve is a which shows quantity of a product a country can export for each quantity of a product imported now let us look at the eighth question which is who pronounced who gave who propounded the idea of gross barter terms of trade this can these can be the possible ways in which the question can be asked so it is about the idea of gross barter terms of trade yeah so now we have names of few eco economists first is john menard keynes second is adam smith third is f w tossing and the last is none of the above so obviously the answer is f w tossing yeah so please pay attention to such important things because they might ask you the names of economists yeah so please pay attention to that the next question on, and the last question in this session is the concept of income terms of trade was given by again the concept the who who gave, who propounded it it is given by whom the the questions can be of this format or this style so the options which we have here is j s dorrens and h stehel j s mill adam smith and john menard keynes and jacob winner yeah so the answer here is a j s dorrens and h stehel stehel yeah so these, these 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 are the sort of questions which may reflect in your university exams so please stay tuned i'll be making more of such videos in the course of next few weeks thank you so much